Hey, welcome back to Two Super Guys Trade Stocks. I'm Dylan. And I'm Vinny. I'm going to tell you how this tax buyback on sherry purchases is going to destroy America. I'm wow. talking about that last Bold part. Claim. Being a little inflammatory. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to talk about the news story regarding this whole uh, kind of buybacks and what these two Warrens think about it and whether or not I agree with one of them. Two Warrens. I haven't. I don't know what he's talking about because I haven't watched this video. Um, if you like this kind of entertaining stock market content, just give us a like and subscribe. Completely unedited, unfiltered. <laughs> two stupid guys, three stocks. So oh, that's what I'm you mean by two you know Okay. Who this dude is, right? You know who yeah. this, uh, this lady over here is. This is Elizabeth Warren. Um, Elizabeth Warren. Right. To be correct. Yeah. The senator from this great state of Massachusetts, my is, home state. I could be wrong. She is the one who claimed she was Native American and is not Native American. Correct? Yeah. I'm not really sure how that whole kind of storyline uh, eventually ended, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really it's pay not attention. Started to but, me. Um, no. The reason why this has popped up is it's been a kind of a long term discussion about share buyback taxation. Um, the reason why it's it's in the news cycle this week is that there's a bill in Congress's Inflation Reduction Act, IRA, another IRA, you know, um, that actually has been agreed upon by finally Kristen Sinema, who was like the last holdout uh, senator that as far as like a, a vote to, to get this thing passed, hopefully, or hopefully, whatever, depending on your position. Uh, the kind of major funding for some of these programs comes from a 1% excise tax being levied on share buybacks. I think they said it estimated about was 125 or $150 billion over the next 10 years that they expect to collect via this tax. And it is uh, included in the version that she uh, find, signed off on. So it looks like it may actually finally happen. I, okay. Um, don't like that. The, the 1% Tax on share buybacks is also directly taxing us, by the way. Investors, yes. But all, a lot of other plans also involve taxing stock transactions, all this stuff. I, yeah. You can't just keep on taxing a system where, I mean, this is where people get their retirement from, right? Like the, Agreed. You're, you're, you're taxing, if pensions were still a thing, great. Sure, but this seems not okay to me. Okay. So the reason why it really matters, I think, is up here. Look at this headline. So Apple, Meta, Microsoft. I, I own, you know, position. My, Apple is my largest holding. Meta is the one I'm accumulating the most in right now. And Microsoft I own a little bit of as well. So those are the kind of companies that do share buybacks. You know, those are important pillars of, like, the American economy. Um, even furthermore, when you go down to this one here, they, where they talk about the numbers, uh, eighty-six billion dollars Apple did in share buybacks in the last year. That's a pretty ridiculous amount. Um, you know, Meta second, forty-eight billion. Microsoft twenty-eight billion. Google Bank of America, you know, fourth or fifth place with both upward of twenty billion, which is kind of nice because I own Bank of America. I'm by, I own a little bit of Google. Own a little I like Microsoft. Bank of America too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it, it is a you know a kind of basic premise of. of what happens? You run a business, right? Um, you, you take an X number of dollars, you pay all your bills, and you end up with a surplus at the end. You can reinvest some of it back into the business. You can, you know, pay it out as a dividend. You can make an acquisition of another business, or you can go ahead and buy back some of your own shares, therefore increasing the ownership for your your current shareholders. That's basically what it comes down to in terms of how you allocate your capital at the end of the day with the business. And it just so happened that. When you get to the scale of these large mega cap tech companies, you make a whole crap ton of money, so it's hard to reinvest it. Do you think Apple could have found investments internally worth $86 billion last year? Um, could they have bought in Greece? <laughs> I, think that, I think that would have worked. I think yeah, you could have done Santorini that. Santorini, brought to you by Apple. There we go. I like See? It. Yeah. Destination Bay That uh, could have worked. Yeah, looks beautiful. Um, you know... But they get so much money that they, they have to find something to do with it. And when you start looking at what their options are now, especially last year with the stock prices where they were, it'd be hard for them to go out and make acquisitions either. That's not a real viable thing. They can't find, you know, public sector companies that they can buy for an attractive price with, when they're talking about that kind of size, which is why Warren Buffett's sitting on $105 billion in cash right now. It's, it's hard to deploy. Um, 
The same thing goes for like dividends. Now, dividends are not really tax effective because as an individual investor, if you get paid a dividend, you have to pay taxes on that, right? You know, this is the 15 to 20% here is what I'm talking about. Um, so it, it's a pretty substantial amount of the, the dividend payment that you have to then pay in taxes, as opposed to up until now, share buybacks have been a tax-free way for companies to return capital to shareholders. So, okay, the one argument for this is regarding dividends is dividends you get paid it's now cash in your account it's not an investment so you get taxed on it you can have a billion shares of whatever you want but until you actually sell said shares or realize a gain in some way meaning cover calls whatever then you will be taxed on whatever that is okay the dividend itself is still taxable right you get that right like in the year that it's paid yeah but I'm saying yeah, okay. you, you, you can have $500 million in shares, but you don't have $500 million in anything until you sell the shares. They, they all have yeah. a cost attached to them. Oh, yeah. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that basically you be kick, when you do share buyback, they're kicking down the, like the, the tax kind of implications down the road. Yes. You know, you'd only be selling, you know, paying any tax on that gain when you sell the stock, which – Perceivably includes the share buyback because that would have driven up the stock price over the years. Yeah. Okay. Share I, buyback drives the stock price. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So then you can get so there anyways. It was a little ridiculous that she talked about this being a sugar high for corporations, um, uh, boosting prices in the short run without investing in long term performance. I, I think that's someone that's out of touch with how much money we're talking about here and, and how few their opportunities are to reinvest this capital. That, that was really what my point was on that prior kind of section there talking about, you know, yeah. $86 billion. How do you like spend $86 billion that I don't even know how to, how would you even do that? You can't yeah. just start buying a bunch of companies at inflated prices. <laughs> yeah. And at the same time, we have Meta, who's got a $400 million acquisition of a uh, fitness app that is being investigated by the FTC. <laughs> like, Great. They, they, they won't let them redeploy this capital. It's ridiculous. But this is a sexy, sexy chart right here. Um, just talking about the share repurchases of Apple over time. Look at that that that, that chart, man. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Have yeah. Have you seen something so beautiful? I mean, it, it really can't get much better. It looks like a slide. Yeah. So even this is from actual Berkshire Hathaway's um, annual report for 2021 where he's talking about the power of share repurchases Warren Buffett is and uh, he's talking about how his ownership or Berkshire's ownership of Apple went up to 5.55% from 5.39% a year earlier just because of share repurchases yeah I mean that's dang, I can't believe he owns like 5% of Apple that's just wild okay yeah. that is a hell of a tailwind yeah, that, that was yeah. My, this is my last slide, but that that's just you know why the stock price continues to climb ever higher is because they're just divvying up this cash flow by fewer and fewer shares. I, I remember reading an article when I first invested in Apple talking about how they could basically manufacture ten percent EPS growth per year just based upon their share repurchase uh, kind of cadence at that point in time. Yeah, that's gross. So are you are you against the share buyback tax? Uh, I, I think it's it's reasonable, but it, it will affect returns a little bit. There is a study out there saying that dividend yields may increase by about 1.5% or so. So companies may be more inclined to start paying dividends at a higher rate. Uh, Apple does pay a dividend, but it is like a bismally low. low. Yeah. Uh, I still think that on a, as a, on a whole, that share repurchases is a more effective use of capital based upon the current taxation structure, even after a 1% exercise tax, at least in my stupid guy opinion. All right. Okay. All right. Well, let us know what you guys think. Uh, I don't like this at all, but that's just me. All right. Yeah. Catch the next one.